I'm here at Woodvale Fish and Lily Farm with my friend Kalinda Anderson. Hi Trevor. Kalinda, this system is just setting the world alight. Now what's it called? Aquaponics and it's growing vegetables using your pond water. How easy is that? Really easy and I think the most important thing you've got to do is have really good filtration, which the plants do, but if you need some extra help I can show you how. So Kalinda, this is the complete system? Yes, a small one be it that, yep. um, but it's certainly if you're thinking about um, starting without too much of a budget, you can start small and grow to love it. The whole system is set up basically on the theory that the plants will clean the water, isn't it? That is correct. Mm. And the only thing that's absolutely critical in this system, no matter what size or shape you have, is yep. that you need a pump. And we would always choose a dirt water pump yep. over other scenarios because they're a lot lower in maintenance. So this is the pond max, and this, when you say dirt water, this is able to take in large particles? That's correct. They will pass through the pump and then deposit it in your filtration system, so oh. it will be processed there. Um, and because it doesn't need any sponging to protect the pump, there's a lot less maintenance. Right. And the other really good thing about dirt water pumps is that they're low power use. I mean, this one, for example, is 3,000 litres per hour, and it's only drawing 35 watts, which is, you know, next to nothing. You, you won't see it on your bill. So we've got our pump sorted out. The filtration system. Well, ideally the plants are going to be covering all your filtering, but in the event that you can't get the balance right, that you've either got too many fish or not enough plants, and if that's the case, and if that was what you want, and if you want to really reduce all your maintenance, then putting on a pressure filter on the outside of the pond right. will be a huge benefit. So how do they work? Again, we're using our same pump to pump the water to the filter, yep. and then it goes through a series of matting and bio medium in there, and yep. then that then gets pushed back into your grow bed. So when you've got this in line, you definitely have healthy water, yep. and healthy water means healthy fish. Here's some important tips when setting up. Always start with good quality pond equipment and don't cut the power cord. It'll void the warranty on these sealed watertight units. Always try to use as large a diameter hose as possible and cut the smaller hose tails off. A bigger flow means the pump isn't overworked. You can plant just about anything in these trays, but these leafy greens grow quickly and provide loads of fresh veggies for the kitchen table. Well, I've got it all planted up. Looks fantastic. It does. Lots of leafy greens. What have you got? Well, I've got some baby marin and baby silver perch. Oh, but wow. Yeah, you right. can check whatever you've got in your state because there's a whole wide range of fish you can grow. And if you don't want to eat them, you can, of course, stick with koi and goldfish. What a great system. Kalinda, thanks so much for showing us around that. I think I know all the basics so I can go back and get mine growing beautifully. Look at that.